Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We're all George. So this morning I talked about Bitcoin's bottom. The Bitcoin bottom at 17,000. So this morning I talked about Raul Paul, how he thinks Bitcoin bottom also showed a lot of metrics, on-chain metrics that shows that Bitcoin bottomed, at least according to previous bottoms. And you know what? Right now we're seeing another major bottom indicator. That's because the U.S. stock market actually reversed today, but not Bitcoin and crypto. This morning when I was streaming, the U.S. market's looking green. Fantastic. Dow plus 400. NASDAQ plus 200. Right? But if you look at it now, market closed. Everything turned red. Everything turned red. Reversal. Sudden reversal. Dow closed at negative 200. NASDAQ was negative 1%. And S&P was down. Basically, tech and stocks got massacred once again. Most went down. With the exception of stocks that has Bitcoin exposure, like the mining companies and Coinbase and MicroStrategy. They all continued upwards. But everything else started coming down. Just like Bitcoin. As I'm streaming this. Bitcoin is still at 22,000. The entire crypto market cap is still above $1 trillion. That's important. This is a major bottom indicator. One that shows that momentum is coming back to crypto and how Bitcoin has decoupled away from NASDAQ and the US markets, right? Although, yes, it's early. Today is the, 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 the first day. I guess uh, first day in a long time. We have seen it before, obviously, but today's the first day in a very long time where we saw the market reversal, but crypto actually did not. Crypto overall held strong. Bitcoin did dip down a little bit, but right back up to 22,000, and it looks like it wants to continue more. And Ethereum is still above 1,500. Polygon almost to a dollar, and many other crypto out there. Five, six, seven. 10% gains for today. Now, I know a lot of you guys are still in disbelief, thinking that this is a, a bull trap, that we could once again come down back to 17K or maybe even go below, right? At this point, right, you can't discount it. It could happen. It definitely could happen. No one knows, but don't let that, don't let that keep you away from Bitcoin crypto and DCA because I've been saying I have seen this before and I've seen people keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting right you just don't know when bottom comes you just don't you don't get confirmation for sure until the market goes up to a certain point where you say okay it's not gonna come down right and we're at one of those points right now can Bitcoin come back down to 17k sure Sure. Can it go to 15K? Can it go to 13K? Maybe. I think it's unlikely, but maybe it could happen, right? But what if it doesn't? What if we are just go slow and steady trend upwards from where we are 22, 28, 30, 40, right? At what point do you declare that 70K was bottom, right? That's the, that's the million dollar question. And there's so many people that will not believe until we get to 30, 40, 50K. And then they'll say, okay, yeah, 70K was the bottom. But at that point, you already missed out on most of the recovery gains, right? The whole point of DCA is to guess, to take the guessing out of investing, right? You don't want to guess. You just don't know. But the one strategy that works is DCAing over long haul right dollar cost averaging when things have fallen so so much when bitcoin has fallen 70 something percent ethereum and others have fallen 80 90 percent right you gotta figure <laughs> it's much closer to bottom than it is to stop yes there's a chance they can collapse and go to zero obviously we have seen that recently but with these great projects that continue to develop, continue to move forward, continue to push and, dr and draw in new dap makers, right? They will stay around. They will get stronger. 
and they will be the powerhouses of the future, right? So that is why you want to continue to stay strong, have patience in DCA along the way, right? But I do think today was a major, major bottom indicator that whether or not we're going to see more days like this, it is just Monday. We may see tomorrow and going through Friday, we could see a pretty good recover for Bitcoin. Well, then that reassures us a little bit more that yes, bottom has been formed and, and good things are coming to Bitcoin, right? But if it doesn't, let's say for the rest of this week, let's just say everything starts coming down again, Bitcoin falls back down to 20,000, right? Should we be discouraged? No, no. That means we just have to be patient a little bit longer, but we're presented with more buying opportunities and more time to DCA. It's really that simple, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna keep this nice and short. Smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, and let's see what happens later today and tomorrow, but I'll have another morning stream with you guys, 8.15 a.m. Central Standard Time, all right? Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.